Thanks for starting your week with us, and look who we have right here in Times Square right now. John Cena, welcome back to GMA. Sure, I'm glad to say hello. Hey. Thank you very much for having me back. That is quite a suit. Uh, it's not the peacemaker outfit, but you know. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Thanks Tell him what you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, "We never know what this guy's going to show up wearing." <laughs> I want to wear something bright, festive. We're uh, promoting Vacation Friends on, yes. on Hulu this Friday, so Perfect. I want to make. We're sure. going to talk about Vacation Friends first. We got to talk about SummerSlam. Yeah. Did not get the 17th WWE Championship. Oh, man. You know, I finished second place. (laughs) 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 Unfortunately, in WWE, you don't get a silver medal, but I'll I'll take second place. That's fine. Do do you ever retire? Are you ever allowed to retire? You've been a part of this for 20 years now. Are you going to come back and go for that championship? Or this is going to be part of your Uh, life for the rest of your life? You know, I think, uh, and I've made this comment before, I think I will try to do the best I can until I feel as if I'm offending the consumer. Uh, <laughs> and I, you know, a lot of times you want to kind of hold on to that lightning bolt. There is, there is nothing like the energy of being in that ring uh-huh. with the audience around you. There's mm-hmm. nothing like it. I've, I've had the fortunate opportunity to do a whole lot of stuff. That energy is indescribable. Uh-huh. That place is my home. I, I, wouldn't, uh-huh. I wouldn't be who I am without it. The, the audience is my family. So I love the environment, but I also want to be kind to them and I don't want to do it selfishly just to do it. Mm. Uh, I, I still feel good, even though I finished second, I still feel pretty good after, <laughs> after last night. So I still feel as if I have something to contribute, and time will tell. Well, speaking of lightning bolts, vacation friends, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. So much fun. You were just telling us, you guys were in Puerto Rico yeah. filming part of it. Yep. So was it like an actual vacation? Oh no, it was great. So uh, we got this resort all to ourselves and our days, we were you know, paid 12 hours to party every day because <laughs> there's, a, there's a segment of the movie, it's out this Friday on Hulu, that is just an absolute resort party fest. <laughs> and it was awesome. And the crazy thing was, we filmed up until the world shut down. So like we're having this crazy party, tons of fun. And then the pandemic hits Hard and everything stuff. locks. So we had this crazy bond for two weeks, and then we were down for eight months. Mm-hmm. So we were one of the first productions to go back to work, which means we filmed eight months later in Atlanta, and we were like the first humans that we all saw. So it was like us back <laughs> to being friends again. Yeah. Everybody wanted to know about everybody's life, and it was, it's an experience I'll never forget. It's just that the time bonding in Puerto Rico, and then the time apart, and then the time together to finish the movie. But it's a spectacular movie, tons of laughs, some really, really crazy stuff. <laughs> and uh, I had a lot of fun making it. I hope everybody enjoys it this week. Let's have a few, few laughs right now. Let's take a look. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Oh, well, you guys, we were so confused why you didn't cough to Mexico. I mean, come on. We we're literally sitting by the phone for a week being like, what? <laughs> but it, it was my bad because the card I gave you, old card. Yeah. You had no way to call. Yes, yeah, so we did a little internet stalking, and then we found out you guys were registered at Williams-Sonoma in beautiful Atlanta. There, it was easy. Hit every wedding in Atlanta, starting with downtown, working our way out in concentric circles. Classic circle sweep maneuver, same thing I used to find lost kids in the cave. This time you weren't too late, sweetie. That's that. So with a title like Vacation Friends and a scene like that, I think everyone can kind of relate to what they're gonna get out of this movie. So you had some vacation hair there. Extra hair gel, it looks like. Well, extra hair gel, a little bit of extra pizzazz to make it look like I have extra hair. (laughs) I really thank the hair and uh, makeup department for Vacation Friends. They wanted me to look like kind of like a space shot, like a, a... a really crazy person who is, you'll, you'll see, uh, the character is extremely interesting and a whole lot of fun, and that was part of it. So I'm, uh, yeah, I got to wear a very different hairstyle while I still, while I still have it. You're, you're an action guy. You're having a heck of a run this summer. F9, of yep. course, and then The Suicide Squad, which yep. you were hilarious in. Thank you very much. But this is meant to be a comedy. You, you're an action guy. Do you, what do you prefer? Do you like the comedies? Do you like the... Uh, you know, I, w- I wouldn't... I wouldn't put myself as an, as an action guy, especially the older I get, the less action I can get into. Uh, I, I just like to entertain. I really do. And I think when I read a story and I'm moved by it, I think we all, you know, you, you read a story or you see a movie or you hear your favorite song, you start to move and you start to feel. And that's, that's what I enjoy. That's why I don't mind doing a movie like Suicide Squad and being funny or doing a serious role uh, like uh, Jacob Toretto in, in F9 and, and being dramatic or doing Vacation Friends and being in another planet. Like, I, I just am moved by the story. I don't want to classify myself as like, okay, stay in this lane. I just want to do things that I think are entertaining. And you love to work. Are we going to see an F-10? Man, I hope so. We're going to see an F-10. I just hope we <laughs> see me in F-10. Those who are listening and make those decisions, are please. Uh, guys? <laughs> I, I, really, I really, really do love The Fast Family, and it's a movie that is continuing to crush worldwide. I mean, we passed, I think this, today, we've passed 700 million worldwide in this environment which is an unbelievable achievement, and it just shows the gravity that the Fast family has worldwide. I really hope I can get invited back for Fast 10. 
Where do you yeah. think we're going? To, you said the environment now of movies are going streaming, movies are just going to theaters. Where do you think we're going to end up? It's just a, the formulas think, are just. I don't think anyone the knows the answer, no. uh, but I do think it is a great time to be involved in entertainment mm. because you have this kind of gold rush for content. So mm. a lot of stuff is, is getting made, a lot of people are getting opportunities, and there's a lot out there for consumers. Mm. Um, I, I honestly don't think anyone knows the answer, and, and we all, as humans, we want answers. Mm. So that's what makes it kind of finicky and no one really knows, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find our way. I think people like stories and entertainment, so hopefully we'll stick around for a while. We mm. certainly love watching you and all those. So thank you for all that, it's fun. Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks you for good job in entertaining time. us. No, no, thank you. I just <laughs> want to say, what, a, what an unbelievable segment by uh, Erica before. I think if people didn't yeah. see that, go back and watch that. She had an awesome message about making sure you do enough for yourself to stay grounded, stay centered, stay present, to make sure you, you move forward and make everybody's day great. I thought that was an awesome segment. Yep. Thank you for Very that. Very true. Yep. Thanks for coming in. Yep. Vacation Friends premieres on Friday on Hulu. And